A paradox, a seemingly contradictory statement that could be true. Hmm, what are we talking about here? Let's get into it. All right, so paradox is a band. There's, there's, and see, there could be some confusion here because at the same time that this band paradox existed, there was another paradox. So anyway, that's the the paradox. Anyway, just got this in brand new release. So thrilled to have this paradox, the wrath. Now, paradox were a band out of Texas in the eighties. Now, at the same time this band existed, there was another band that actually was on a major label signed called Paradox. Were they from Germany or something? You know, I don't know how the trademarks worked back then. Nobody obviously forced anybody else to change a name. Both bands existed around the same time. And uh, yeah, let the confusion ensue. In this case, Paradox is a band from Texas in the late eighties. They are a Christian metal band, thus the paradox, because, you know, Christian metal? Ah, isn't that a paradox? That seems contradictory. The church thought so back in the day. The band did not, nor did half the other people that played Christian metal in the 80s. So, this album is a long time coming, thankfully. Now, uh, I want to give a little bit of history. This just came out, limited run vinyl. It's on red. It's beautiful. I did not show it. But a couple weeks prior to this, it came out on CD. I bought the CD and the vinyl. They shipped these first, then that came in. CD has like one additional track on it, but this has been a long time coming. So real briefly, for those who don't know Paradox, real briefly, in the back in the days, they had an album in 87, eh, album, EP, 87 and 88. And in 2020, we did get those on vinyl releases. So we got Power and the Glory and uh, Ruler on vinyl, on limited run vinyl. Back in the day, 2020, these came out. So um, great stuff. If I'm not mistaken, I think I also, some of the stuff in, the, in, in one of these albums, uh, I think I sent Scott Waters, who did the inserts, some stuff I had, like a newsletter. So I think some of these pictures may have come from my personal library i had some stuff i was a big fan of paradox in the beginning back in the days um to the point where i used to speak to manny the vocalist on the phone uh just i love these guys absolutely just oh sweet spot metal great stuff they were just one of my favorite bands i used to listen to these cassettes cassette only releases back in the day uh professional cassette only they weren't like garage duplicated stuff these guys put out you know high quality clear you know cassettes but these two releases used to just get so much play for me so when these got reissued on vinyl and remastered on cd it was a thrilling time indeed for a big fan like me so these are 2020 releases cds and vinyl that's last we heard now the band pretty much that was about all they did they did a couple like they had a, a song or two on a compilation here or there that were new, which did appear as bonus tracks on Power and the Glory. So we got the Big Rage uh, song, uh, Called and Chosen, which is listed as a demo, but it, it was on another uh, uh, compilation at the time. So this was kind of like, all right, we got all the songs, except for the few uh, elite fans that knew in 1999 and I don't know why there's a 10-year gap. And I, ha I want to read the, the liner notes on this reissue as to when were these songs recorded. But in 1999, the band released this CDR, laser-printed cover, not, you know, just a CDR, with just generic, of a bunch of songs. Now, a handful of these songs are from the previous release. And then, I, and, and then I, there was like four or five, I can't, one, two, three, four five songs plus the two you know that were from the compilations there's like five songs on here that were new and then some other songs that were all taken from ruler or power and neglect so don't know exactly what this was i remember seeing this in like heaven's metal magazine and i ordered it because i'm a big paradox fan doesn't have a lot of details as to what this is were these songs from the 80s recorded were they new songs recorded 10 11 years later i i'm kind of doubting that but anyway, I never did know much about the history of this album, but this still was out there. So we got the two reissues of the first two, and then we didn't hear anything, and we weren't sure about that. But then all of a sudden, rumbling started happening that, hey, 
The wrath is coming. The wrath is coming. They're going to reissue it. Now, great, great news. So here it is. Now they're here, and they, the, the, the vinyl just hit my doorstep like two, three days ago. But on here now, we don't have those songs from Ruler and Paradox, like, like I mean, from uh, Ruler and Power and Glory, like we do on this one. We've actually got all the songs that were on here, one, two, three, four, five, and a handful of others. We do have the, they have a demo, and we have two live tracks. Two live tracks of those songs that were on the compilations, which makes me wonder, I need to go back, the versions that were on here or whatever, were they live? I don't know. On here, they're live. And then we have a live guitar solo. Uh, uh, well, a song, You Must Be Saved, and a guitar solo, which is a six-minute song. On the CD that didn't make it on the vinyl, which makes sense because you can obviously fit more. And it's a bonus track on the CD. So we've got the whole package deal here. Now, a handful of years ago, before all of this happened in 2020, we did get uh, the, the mainstream label Demon Doll Records. They're very popular for doing all kinds of hair metal type stuff. They released Power and the Glory, which is really a compilation of sorts. It's got the Power and the Glory songs from Power and the Glory which is only five songs, so it's more of an EP. It has those songs on here, and then it has a bunch of, uh, a few songs from Ruler to fill it out. So it's, a, it's an 11 song release, but it's made up of Power and Glory and some from Ruler. So it's, it's not all the ones from Ruler, so it's not a complete compilation of two of them, but it's a compilation of all from one and most from another, or a handful from another. So this was the only thing we had on CD for many years. This came out a couple years, quite a few years ago. And it was neat to see that it came out on a mainstream, you know, non-Christian label. So that was thrilling. But then when we finally got them out, you know, all complete with bonus tracks, et cetera, et cetera, all on that. And now this has hit the doorstep. We have all three on CD, remastered, everything about them packaged beautifully remastered on cd and vinyl i am thrilled that the paradox is now complete in my book at least so my favorite band paradox from texas are complete from this my one little one little connection at the time i really was in the par in the paradox i lived in mississippi so i'm down there so now i'm in a band and we're looking for a musician and at one point so one the paradox guitar player from paradox passed away um i think it was a it was a car accident, right? He passed away. So they got another guitar player to fill in for him. Didn't last very long. There was a picture of him in Heaven's Metal and a mention of his name. Um, and that was about it. I think he did some shows with the band. That was about it. It got mentioned in there of his name and that he's from Mississippi. So anyway, then I heard he was out of the band. So I got a hold of Manny from Paradox because, again, I'd been on talking to him on the phone all the time. And I said, hey, Manny, can you give me that guy's number? Because I'm in Mississippi, and I'd love to hook him up. We need a guitar player. Sure enough, he gave me the number. I called him. He drove down. He auditioned. I have some recordings of him. He's also a very phenomenal singer. Multi-ranged, octave range vocals. Written a bunch of songs. He came down. I have a recording of a song of us just working through it. It's a working thing, but it actually sounds like a whole song. He did some stuff with us. Phenomenal shredding guitar player, but it didn't work out. Um, he's he's a he's he's a character, um, and he was he stuck around with us for a while, uh, but it never went anywhere. But that's my connection with Paradox is that I shared the guitar player with him that they shared for about as long as they did, <laughs> probably barely you know a few weeks or so. But anyway, it was a great time. Big. Big Paradox fan, so it was just great to uh, to have that little connection. But there you go. If you're unfamiliar with Paradox, check them out. Melodic, metal. Manny's got such an excellent voice. The band is just, it's that sweet spot of the 80s stuff. And you'll dig it if you like that kind of music. And now we have all three of them on vinyl and CD. And they're probably, they're all limited run, so I'm not sure if you can get the old ones. But check them out. That's it for this one, though. Ramble on enough. Rock on and rock hard.